Hi everyone, Bitcoin here from the Big Jabowski. This round I'm up against Reisler from the Guild Struggle. Now before getting into Reisler, a few quick things to say. In the last round, as I mentioned, I didn't think my opponent was going to be able to clear my front walls. Uh, I didn't end it. I didn't add it to the end of the video anymore just because I already wanted to upload it and get it out of the way. And indeed, as predicted, he was unable to get through my Darth Revan team here simply because he set the same defense as he always did and I was perfectly able to counter that. And I believe that he did one-shot the rest of the board, uh, including the fleet and this team here. But yeah, that simply got him stuck, so that worked out for me. Then as well, I talked briefly about my uh, ticket account that I have on which I was going to try to get rank one Kyber in Division 9. And I think, fingers crossed, that it actually worked out. My last opponent was actually really tough. He had a Padme team that was able to take out my best defensive team, I thought. But he actually failed up against it. Uh, he either misplayed it or didn't quite figure it out. But I'm in the lead here for 141 banners. Now there's a possibility that this second guy here can still clear the feat that gives you 135 banners for the 15 fleet battles. And maybe he still has other feats that he hasn't claimed yet. It's a possibility. But considering his banners, I don't think so because he was already claiming feats from the looks of it earlier on. Like getting like 100 point bumps towards the end there. And he, he was actually ranked 2 Kyber last time in Division 10. So this might be his second time in rank 2 in Division 9 this time. Which is probably very frustrating for him. But uh, yeah, I don't know. He might still surpass me. I don't think anyone else can really compete. Because the jump here to rank 4 is already like 1.2k points. So unless people have saved up a huge amount of banners, it's probably not happening. So this is going to be a pretty high rank either way. Uh, last match, like I said, was really tough. The fleet battle, I barely pulled it off because my opponent had simply such a strong fleet with max out geos almost and a bunch of other things. Well, max out I'm saying, but it's like gear 11, something like that. Uh, which is pretty strong considering my strongest ships on here are like literally not even maxed and just don't have the damage or the gear. I think Biggs is like gear 9 or 10. So uh, yeah, pretty tricky to pull it off. But I was able to get through that and also do a feat still, the one with Darth Maul and Kira. Mind you, I have a level 1 Darth Maul and a level 25 Kira, and I had to stop them from dying or I would lose that match based on banners. So it was pretty tricky, but uh, I had my fun. Now, as for this Grand Arena, up against Reisler, uh, I've looked into him a little bit. Like all of my previous opponents this week, Reisler loves setting the exact same defense every single time. So you can guess what's coming up. Uh, the same defense. I don't know how well I'm going to do against it because this guy actually goes really heavy on defense uh, up to the extent where it makes it pretty difficult for him to get a full clear on me. So let's just, whoops, already moving here. So we already attacked um, and he was not able to clear me, which is what I expected pretty much. Took two attempts on my Night Sisters did fine on the rest. He also took out my fleet in one go. Nothing too special there. I threw in Houndstooth for a change. And yeah, also took this one down and was unable to get through General Skywalker because he simply sets literally almost everything on defense. Up top here, he's got Padme, Grievous, and his JKR. So I'm already impressed he managed to get through my Grievous considering he doesn't really keep a whole lot against it. Uh, but I'm guessing he used this partial Darth Revan team there because this guy surprisingly actually doesn't have Darth Malak. And I believe there was one other character that he didn't have, which was a bit weird. Uh, oh yeah, he doesn't have a CLS team. That's it. So can you believe that one? Let me just quickly go to his roster. How often do you see people with over 4 mil GP where, I mean, he has them unlocked, but there's almost no gear on there. I have not seen this in a very long time. So super odd. Gear 8 CLS, Gear 10 Han, and here, 6 star, Gear 2 Chewbacca. So that's pretty funny. Or is that Gear... I don't even know. It doesn't even matter. Uh, so that one, and then I believe he doesn't have an Empire team either. Emperor Palpatine's missing. Uh, or just doesn't have any Zetas, Gear 10 Vader. So pretty odd missing teams are in there. And he does, of course, have very strong Phoenix. 
but that's not particularly handy. So yeah, three strong teams at the top here, then his General Skywalker over here, Ewoks, and in the back we'll find Bounty Hunters, and we will find a First Order team. Now I'm pretty limited in time, I'll probably have to record this in two parts, because we have a territory war coming up, I should probably eat something at some point as well, so let's just get into it, try to get as far as I can. In the event that I don't make it through his General Skywalker properly, it's going to be pretty tricky for me, same with Padme. So he could definitely still win, and I'll have to do my absolute best to make sure that I pull it off. So another interesting note on this guy is his General Skywalker. His General Skywalker has 235 speed, it's got a lot of protection, but he has a speed set. So you would think that if you put on a speed set, you would manage to reach really high speeds. But he put on a speed set that just has some speed secondaries. So your protection arrow, it's just a really strange combination. And I think that could be done quite a lot better probably, but we'll see in a minute whether it works out for him. Now, modding Skywalker for protection is really important because the last time that he didn't use protection, his wife ended up dying and his kids ended up making out. So give him enough protection to make sure that you don't get into any difficult or awkward situations rather. So yeah, let's send in Padme up against General Skywalker. Uh, looked into the modding. We'll just give it a go and see how far we get. Hopefully our Lord and Savior... Nope. Echo was going to be merciful, but no. And I got the stun on R2 as well, so that's pretty annoying. Literally the worst case opening scenario. All right. Let's try to make the best of it then. So not much to say as usual, you have to wait until Padme manages to get this cleanse, which she does now. Then I can smoke screen with R2-D2, that protects everyone's buffs to make sure they don't get dispelled and they can build up some proper courage. And that courage allows you to quickly dispose of the other team. Now in the event that I don't manage to kill Echo before his second AoE, I run the major risk that my whole team gets shot out. And it's starting to look like I'm getting pretty close to that point, because I first have to kill fives here. Yeah. Well, that's game over in this Grand Arena. That's literally the worst possible scenario. Um, I think I've only had this happen once in probably 100 to 150 battles. Uh, so the protection speed thing for him, I guess it worked out, but it's, it's not really related to that. The issue is partially related to getting the protection down so that he would be toppled. And as you could see there, I had 22 stacks of courage on Ahsoka and I had to waste them all on General Skywalker. He was actually already supposed to be toppled at that point, but he wasn't. So that was pretty wasteful right there. And then right after, uh, Padme wasn't going to take a turn yet. I think she had speed down on her at some point, maybe, because normally seen after Ahsoka goes, she's usually the next one to be able to either kick or basic fives with a lot of courage on her. But in this case, I didn't. Uh, and even if I would have done that, then Echo would have still used his AoE. But maybe I would have had a shot at cleaning this up. Now that the whole team is preloaded and that my counter pretty much is out of here, I won't be able to clear this. So my only chance at winning now is to make sure that I one-shot all of these teams, then I one-shot the Ewoks, and then I get to his fleet zone and one-shot that as well. So then it's a really sloppy final battle, but it should get the job done. Now this was really the worst case scenario. Like I said, I've just not had this happen before. Like maybe once, but I don't even properly remember. So that's pretty atrocious, I have to say. And I'm already, like, I'm glad he didn't manage to clear me because if you just lose your Grand Arena battle based on that scenario, it's kind of like if you do a Darth Revan mirror match and the other Darth Revan's faster, but your Bacillus faster, and then their Darth Revan still starts with Force Storm. Now, I don't know how many Darth Revan battles you guys have done, but from my experience, that happens like one in 100 attempts that their Darth Revan starts with Force Storm rather than Insanity. And you could probably lose your Grand Arena match to just that. I'm sure it has happened to plenty of people. And that's really depressing. It's a really lame kind of thing. But yeah, uh, moving on. So I'm going to attack this Grievous team up next. And I will bring my 
Freya team over here, just because it's a very slow Grievous. Uh, I'm thinking if I want to do anything different, probably not. So he's got Droida, can't even pronounce his name anymore, Droideka in there as a fifth. Now B2 moves and he actually made Grievous get, I think he's ahead of Nihilus here. So this has to be a stun, otherwise I'm likely going to die. Okay, it was good. So even though it's a really slow Grievous, he still managed to speed ahead of me there and nearly take me down. Droidica is going to, I'm lucky Thrawn didn't die there, or let's call it happy. Uh, because if Thrawn dies right now, it's a bit too early. Now the thing is I could attack Droidica and ability block him, or stun him rather, but that will trigger B2. And then B1 will also assist, so my best hope here is ability blocking him and maybe stunning him and hoping that Thrawn doesn't get killed, but he did now. So this is not looking too good, depending on who Grievous goes for in his next move. So since B2 is already maxed anyway, I might as well ability block Droidica here. Uh, Scion's not quite at his move just yet. That's unfortunate. So we'll see who gets targeted out next. If it's Nihilus, then it's like Grand Arena game over for me, probably. So we'll see. Now what I'm going to do is put Pain on Grievous. Probably on everyone, rather. Hope it lands on Grievous. It did. So now he's forced to target my Scion. Oof, that was something else. Uh, Treya gone. My Nihilus is really low on turn meter, so that's not looking good. Uh, unfortunately, now nah, he's still got the pain. Ah, oh, goddamn. Yeah, so that's game over for me. That's the Grand Arena lost. Uh, I can still send in JKR to clean it up, etc. I try and be more efficient than my opponent, but this is a match I almost never lose, so it's pretty annoying that it happened in this case. So I can still kill Magna Guard here. The more I pick off, the better in the end. I can always try to clean this up. I just don't want it to be a third attempt, because if it is, then I won't be able to uh, get more banners than this guy. The sloppiest Grand Arena in the entire season, and probably almost all of my seasons ever. Uh, so let's go up against this one then. It's a very high relic. Pot main team over here. I was going to say, where is my Bastilla? She's down low over here. I'll just select it from the screen. Because I'm working with a touchpad here. Um, let's see. Yep, that's the team. So, let's see how it goes. No shock on Kenobi. That's really annoying. Hopefully still land a couple. Now, this should be a shock. If not, then I can... Forget about this match too, I suppose. Um, let's go for GK because once he's out, it's significantly easier. Yeah, this is not gonna end well. Uh, let's, I mean, I can put the fear on him here just so I can dispel that very annoying protection up. Hopefully Malak is going to shock. And it doesn't get dispelled by Ahsoka, that's always a question mark. Uh, I could go for Anakin, but I think going for Anakin will not end up killing him. Yeah, and that triggers but me. Okay, so that was yeah a decision I tried to make, but didn't work out. And now it's gonna be mega sloppy and potentially not working out either, but we'll see. Dodge even, are we dodging now without foresight? I'm literally handing this guy the win right now. <laughs> uh, let's drain him out. We go for Anakin next to get rid of the healing immunity, which he's going to keep dropping on me. 
there he got it that's gonna be a problem if I don't get him down quickly fortunately that wasn't a stun but yeah I'm gonna go down here I don't think yep Wow, incredible Grand Arena. Fortunately, I already made it to Kyber. If this was gonna cost me Kyber, I would be pretty sad. But yeah, I think with this uh, with this double fail here, I already lost on banners. Unless he had some really atrocious efficiency. I haven't actually killed any teams yet. Can you believe it? I've done three fights and nothing's gone down. Uh, let's do JKR up next here. Where's my friend Hermit? I don't even really need Hermit. I can just bring my own Shack, I guess. Or, no, I'm not gonna undersize. Let's bring in Hermit. I think Shack is probably more useful elsewhere. Maybe in some kind of cleanup thing. I might as well try to drag some banners out of it. Um, let's just start like this. Yeah, I'll get the kill. Oh, going for Joe Lee first. All right, then. Let's kill him. That was a nice hit. Let's start going for him. Hit Vestella because she doesn't have the battle meditation. Okay, he's gone again. I could have also passed the turn, uh, the turn over to Jolie to try to get him out of this state quicker, but I don't think it's really going to matter. Let's get rid of that critical hit immunity. Spread the buffs again, and I should have another direct focus in a second. Uh, I can call Jolie here. Okay, good. Now let's see if I can still fill up Jolie. I'm mostly disappointed about the Grievous battle. I mean, the Padme battle, that's it's kind of as expected that if you don't really manage to get your shocks down that you get your ass kicked. Uh, the Padme versus General Skywalker, yeah, I mean, this has almost never happened, but even if it would have gone slightly better, I might have just lost too many characters. I could have at least cleaned it up and broken through them. Now it's just a lost cause. Um, like that one's, I guess, second place disappointment, but first place was definitely this one. I really don't get how exactly it ended up messing up. Uh, either way, that one's done. Then over here, I'm going to have to use my nest and pray that one works out. Considering there's no GK, I should be able to build up enough damage to eventually take care of them. Uh, I should have actually saved my Hermit Yoda for that one. That's why I had that second thought there. There was a reason why I wanted to save him. So that's not so smart. Uh, let me just check how much potency they have then. Shouldn't be modded for it, but yeah, there's a little bump on there. So he's definitely going to land some stuff. Uh, he's going to be very high on the potency. Yeah. Okay, so that's not going to be a whole lot of counters, not going to be a whole lot of turns, but I mean, at this point, I don't really have any other options anyways. I can try to CLS it, but that's pretty freaking annoying and I'm way too low gear. So let's just try to get this done. So Kira, I guess I could throw in Maul to do the feat. Because I'm not going to win this on banners anymore anyway. I don't want to do the math. I don't think it can be done. Uh, because I already lose 20 banners. And he literally only cleared 4 teams. 5 maybe. 
So you would have to have lost so many banners. I mean, sure, I'll do it. Why not? Uh, let's take a look here. 1357. That is 627 banners over the starting point. 627 minus 363. What is that? 264 divided by five battles. Yeah, it's like 52 banner average, but despite my loss, I don't think it's feasible. Because mm, I basically already blew like 40 banners over there. Yeah, it's not, it's not realistic, so I'll just do it for the feed then. So Kira Nest and Mole. I mean, besides, I'm losing Kira here already. So that banner count's going to be pretty ugly too. Uh, yeah, let's try this. And if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Let's see if I can get... Ouch. Anakin down sometime soon. I've already got the double... Uh, I guess one thing I could have done is bring what? That might have not been my smartest move. He could have at least... Yeah, I'm probably going to go down now. Yeah. I should have brought what to put the tech on him so that he would always get cleansed. I didn't even think that I still had what. I thought he was on defense. So that's a fail. Uh, let's clean this one up with... Oh, limited options. There's no more Thrawn, is there? Yeah, it's going to be super ugly. Uh, well... On the bright side, I'll be done before Territory War starts, so that's a good thing. What do I even want to try to send in? Yeah, I should have definitely brought Watt on the other one. Let's go against the Ewoks first. What do I have? I could try Bounty Hunter's Watt up against Grievous, I suppose, though the AoE is pretty deadly. Let's go do that one first, why not? No idea if it's going to do anything. Oh, actually, I could also do that up against Padme. Though the exposed damage is pretty lethal. Let's try that. I mean, I've already lost anyway. Let's see what I can still take down. So these guys get Dengar in there. And put in what? Now what does assist which feeds them protection up. So that's really not ideal. I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, Boba's execute is sort of my only hope. I just have to hope that they stack a lot of buffs. And we're talking like like this is I know this is a major stretch and not imagining that this is gonna work well. But I might as well give it a shot. That's actually interesting. I didn't know that. Ah, there he goes. Now he takes a turn. Well, Boba's already gone, so that whole plan is pretty much off the table. Uh, he's going to die in an instant here. So not really useful either. I mean, like, she's got, like, 10 buffs here. So he could have done some damage, I suppose. Yeah, it's the what assists that's most annoying. So it wouldn't have worked either way. I think with the extra protection up, it's pretty messy. Let's get out of here. Um, let's do CLS first. You can tell that I'm at a point where I genuinely don't care. Basically, the moment the match is lost, it's like, whatever. Let's send in some random stuff. Um, well, if I drop him, he's going to dispel it. So might as well kill B2, who's maxed and get him started. Well, thank you for immediately taking out Chewie. This has been fantastic. Uh, let's
let's attack him first. Who knows how far the exposes carry me. Dodges, nice. Well, he does have that little boost, but you know, in battles like these, here, let's let's get this one. Right here, let's get the evasion up. Let's do a droidica. Let's dodge his entire AoE here. It's probably in his kit that it cannot be evaded or something. I don't even know. But either way, those things always happen in these kind of battles. Okay, he's down. Uh, Padme I'm not going to be able to take down. My resistance cannot really do anything. Uh, and plus, it's not even full resistance because BB-8's on defense and <laughs> R2 was blown up by General Skywalker. So that's ugly. Um, let's go with Wampa then. So the whole Kira Mall thing didn't work out. There was another feat. I could do like Vander Chewie and... Uh, L3, that's like 90 points. Yeah, let's, okay, so Shaq, Wampa, Vandor, and L3, amazing team. Uh, my touchpad stopped working. So the thing here is that Wampa doesn't really get hit a whole lot, so he's not spending too much time countering. So because of that, the team is not so great, but let's just send it in anyway. And then I'm going to quickly end the recording to move on to Territory Wars because we're fighting a sandbagging guild that is sandbagging by 30 mil called Attack of the Schwartz. Uh, yeah, very happy once again to fight another guild that just, I don't know. I spoke to them and they said that they have participation issues. So people just not signing up, which seems a bit weird if you're at over 290 mil. I would think that at that point people understand that you should probably sign up to guild events, but no, doesn't seem to be a thing for them. So yeah, that's going to be a messy territory war. But of course they wish us good luck. So like it's going to be an interesting kind of match. I don't know. It's a very big issue these days with territory wars where at high GP guilds they're all afraid of Maw and Team Instinct and yeah I'm not saying every single guild has that same motivation but it's just a consistent thing and all of them have different stories some of them say yeah we have participation issues we have recruitment issues but at the end of the day the result is that all of the guilds in the like 250 to 270 mil range just constantly have to fight guilds with 20 to 30 mil more GP and the only solution is to do the same thing as them, I guess. Because CG doesn't care, because it doesn't make them any money to fix this. So we could uh, also make people sit out, but nobody wants to, and we don't want to either. It's just not a good idea. So instead, we just have to hand those guys a free win. And yeah, that's not exactly fun either. So we can do our best, but it's pretty hard to motivate people to really go all for it. Uh, fortunately, I'm in a guild full of people that are really motivated for Territory Wars, but I know a lot of other guilds out there where the moment they have to fight a guild like this, they just kind of don't bother. So this fight's pretty slow. Everything for defeat. I should maybe go for Logre as well, so he stops, stops stopping my Wampa, but uh, he's the next target, I guess. I just wanted those AOEs from Wicked out of there. And Territory War has started, so let's just quickly wrap this up and actually just autoplay. Come on, Wampa. Big smash, please, good sir. So thank you for watching. Um, sorry for making a mess, and I hope to do better in the next season. I'm not going to have any Galactic Legends just yet, uh, but I will be in Division 1. That's going to be a change because I'm in there now due to, I think, like unlocking the Malevolence. I was actually 61. That's pretty funny. Um, yeah, there's nothing to send in over here, right? 
some kind of ugly newt team where newt is just going to get one shot by an aoe yeah that's not let's uh, save ourselves that mess so this is my worst banner count ever in a grand arena match even though i kept all the necessary teams to get stuff done things didn't quite work out so yeah thanks for watching uh, i hope all of your grand arenas went well maybe this guy got kyber because he's going to win let's take a look actually Nah, he's too far down, so that's a pity for him. All right, well, it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, I hope all of you did make it to Kyber and had a fun time. And I'll see you all again soon for more Grand Arena and a bunch of other videos.